Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 2, Episode 12 of Adventure Time. Last we saw was the Chamber of Frozen Blades, and it was basically Jake and Finn up to their usual antics, trying to be ninjas, or, at, or training to be ninjas, or self-proclaiming themselves ninjas, break into Ice King's Lair. They're doing some kind of like like, I don't know, some espionage or something. There's binoculars in the beginning. There is Flamo, who is this little flame guy I forgot to talk about in the last one. Amazingly awesome. Has like a New York accent or like a wise guy type accent. Awesome dude. But he didn't show up in the rest of the episode. They were feeding him coal. I like, there's so many characters in this that I love that just like randomly pop in and then I never see again. Maybe he'll pop up again, but Flamo, I think his name was Flamo, seemed awesome. I hope he comes back again. The rest of the episode was them trashing the Ice King's house, looking for evidence that might make him look guilty of kidnapping a princess. He goes, helps Gunther get pregnant, has an egg, a baby pink flying kitty, hatches at the very end, and he did kidnap Dr. Princess. He did kidnap her. She was in the bag. He tried to fake it. What idiot tells them to move the bag when you know there's a princess? He caught himself, but it was too late. We're just going to jump in. This is season two, episode 12, Adventure Time. Her parents. Adventure Time presents her parents. Does it always say Adventure Time presents? I don't think so. You want some more eggs, Bimo? Yes, please. Bimo. <sighs> Look at Bimo. I love Bimo. Looks like a little game boy. All right, I love you too. Oh, Bye. Rainbow Unicorn. I Lady Rainicorn her. again? Yeah, man. She's worried about introducing me to her parents at lunch today. I'll invite them over early, smooth them over using my personality, and we'll all be best friends before Lady gets here so she doesn't have to feel nervous. It's perfect. That is amazing. What's it say? They're into it, dude. Oh Sweet. God. Let's go pat her noses. Why is Lady so nervous anyway? For thousands of years, Rainicorns battled dogs over territory in the Crystal Dimension. But Lady and I are cool. They're gonna see you're a dog and forbid Lady from ever hanging out with you again. Nah, that could never happen. You didn't think this through enough. Ketchup, mustard, red, red and yellow. yellow. Ladies, parents, I say hello. I'm the fellow for your daughter. Please forget the wartime slaughter. Home improvement <laughs> decorations help me impress her relations. Sugar bears and rainbow jelly. Spread those colors on my belly. On the floor and up the log. Please don't notice I'm a dog. I thought painting ourselves rainbow color using condiments and stuff from the fridge so we could pretend to be rainicorns was a good idea when you pitched it to me five minutes ago. First, we're going to clean this place up, and then... Huh? Why didn't Jake okay. just make himself look like Let's something else? Burn the house down. He can alter his body. Ah, I can explain. I can explain. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, Bob, our daughter's finally found a handsome rainicorn to love. Oh, God. You think I'm a rainicorn? Well, we are a little blind. Yes, I guess we are a little blind. But the plan is working, homie. Jake, what is that thing that's talking? Uh, that's, um... I'm Jake's Rainicorn roommate. Everyone do the traditional Rainicorn rain dance. Jake, please ask your goblin butler to stop insulting my heritage. Yeah, uh, yes! Get out of here, goblin! Go fetch us some Rainicorn snacks! But... Come on, homie, help me! My goblin will bring us snacks in a moment. Thank you, Jake. Goblin. I'm glad the wife and I made the trip from the Crystal Dimension. Well, how does the daughter not tell them like, he's not Ethel? a rainicorn? Bob? I am a little curious about your goblin. Well, he's actually a human. Oh, Bob. Our future son-in-law must be filthy rich to afford a human butler. Jake, do you know Cavaladapawama? Ah. Uh, <laughs> say it again. Cavaladapawama. I thought you said Cobloderaga. I love getting down and dirty with some Cloblada Puama. Y'all should go first, though. Mm, bold move, letting your opponent move first, Jake. I respect that. Cobloderaga. Get your snacks. Finn. Dude, I have to show Lady's parents that I have rainbow powers. Just stretch your horn at me, and I'll take care of the rest. You're the best, homie. Homies help homies. Come out of Puama. Is he gonna vomit or something? <sighs> oh, he passed out. Very un 
unusual color palette, Jake. Let, Let the, the games, games begin! begin! Meanwhile, Finn is like dead. Finn just died. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least he acknowledges it. Creepily weird. How does their daughter not tell them that sucked? The record player just survived <laughs> in the head. Poor Finn. I'll get him. Finn is right. Your plan is working perfectly. Being poked in the buns and laughed at was not in my plan. And it's a lie. Not in the plan. Not, not in the plan. plan. You know I got your back forever. Homies, help homies. Those eyes are insane. They do that all the time. <laughs> hey guys, you ready to get this game going again? Oh no, we're pooped. Help me cook something, please. What do they eat? Okay. Thanks, Finn. Do they eat specific okay. shit? Don't worry about a thing. Finn will make a great lunch. Oh god, they're gonna eat Jake? I mean, Finn? Jake! I think they wanna eat me! Of course we do. Jake said you'd make a great lunch. Jake! Oh Come on. my oh, man, god. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Knock it off, Bob! Don't you Bob. Him. Come on! They're trying to eat. Now that's best. enough! Nobody's eating Finn! He's not my brother, and he's not food! <gasps> You're a dog? Yeah, I just... Oh, look. This dude is a super guy. Oh, me, oh, my, a super guy. We are the lucky ones. Son of a gun, the lucky ones. The lucky, lucky ones. Uh, uh. JJ Flip! What the zip? Yeah, she says a dog saved her dad in the war. Wow! That's flipping awesome. I just want you to know how sorry we are about trying to eat you. This is we thought we'd never get another chance. We thought humans were extinct. This is soy people. Oh. Mm. I've never tasted a real human before, but they say you can't even tell the difference. Ew. Soy? Soy people. Finn, you're delicious! Creepy. It's good. Another good episode. Rain of Corns freak me out. I don't know why. The whole, like idea of it even the first episode when we introduced her i forget her name but jake's girlfriend the rainicorn do we have a name we have to have a name i just blanking out right now but jake's girlfriend rainicorn they just the way they talk they're talking in another language obviously and that's why they have the translators on their neck we were explained this last season i believe I don't know, something about them just horrify me. And now they're trying to eat his butler, who they believe is a goblin. Are they that? Well, they did say they could barely see, because I was going to say, are they that dumb that they can't tell their own kind? But they are saying they're slightly blind and they're older. Jake can make himself into whatever he wants to be. He didn't necessarily have to be one of them. He could have been something else and not a dog. But at the end there, you see that being a dog makes them love him even more. At the end there, though, I was going to say this during the episode, but there wasn't time to talk. They were freaking out like, oh, my God, you're that wealthy. You could afford a human. Does that mean, first off, that means they know humans exist. Obviously, Finn is a human, but we've never seen another human again. I have said this in other episodes. We've seen zombies and we've seen like bottom of the ocean, post-apocalyptic, like skyscrapers under the water kind of thing. So I have pitched the idea that this is Earth way in the future and somehow things have advanced to this level and humans are extinct and they just confirmed that she just said we were so excited to eat you because we thought humans were extinct somehow finn has survived why is finn survived finn is also all about being a hero and going on adventures he seems to be very durable he gets the shit kicked out of him survives every time fights the ice king who is a super powered guy and holds his own all the time is he like the one is he the chosen one the savior of humankind or something like that is this going to get like really deep into lore where like human is human is where finn is the last human that will save our race or something like that i don't know but i've been pitching this since we saw zombie people. The only people we've seen, the only human beings we've seen are cannibals, zombies, and then underwater we see towns, cities, like human cities. I don't know. At the end there, they're eating soy people. Finn takes a bite and enjoyed it himself. It's like when people say, like, it tastes like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. People probably taste like chicken. I don't know what people taste like. I've never eaten a person. 
I bet you there's people on YouTube, though, that will explain to you what it tastes like. You go find out their opinions. I'm going to end this episode. If you guys want full, unedited reactions of this and other shows on my channel, Patreon link in front of me somewhere. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.